Hello, hello. How is everybody doing out in Facebook land? <laughs> is that a thing or did I just make that up? I got on a little bit early before my start time to kind of give some folks some time to be able to join in. Uh, but I'm excited to be able to be here to do this Facebook Live with you guys. So let me talk a little bit about what this whole thing is about. I'm Karen Tripp. I'm the president and founder of Cancer Companions. And I thought that I might just take a few minutes today to share with you about cancer and the coronavirus. You know, somehow or another, cancer has this way of being able to push people that are family and friends of a cancer patient away from that cancer patient. You know, we don't mean to be increasing the isolation that's going on in that person's world, but somehow that's what we're doing. In our heads, most of us end up knowing cancer is not contagious. There's no reason we need to be distancing ourselves, and yet we do. So now think about that and add a layer on top of it that is the coronavirus. Yes, people with cancer absolutely are immune deficient, and it's very, very important that they distance themselves socially. But can you think of a tougher thing to deal with during a cancer walk than isolation? So the good news is, is that for us to be able to help cancer patients battle their isolation, we don't have to be there physically standing in front of them. And we certainly don't have to have um, a deep caring message that we've got to be able to share with them. What we need to be able to do is just to let them know we're there. Did you catch that? To battle a person's isolation as they're going through their cancer walk, what we need to do is we need to be able to reach out to that person on their cancer walk and let them know we're there. Did you catch that? To help a person battle a cancer walk, what we need to do is let them know we're there consistently. Huh. Now, if we don't have to be there physically, and it doesn't have to be a particular message, that kind of opens up a whole new world. I like to think of it that we're going to be reaching out with some cyber touch. Now, don't let the word scare you. All it means is just finding simple ways through the technology that we have to be able to reach out to people that are struggling with cancer. So let me take a minute and share with you some ideas that I have about how CyberTouch could help you connect with somebody that's going through cancer treatment right now. You could just pick up the phone and say hi. <laughs> there you go, that's pretty simple. You could watch the same TV show, but both be on the phone together as you're doing it. That sounds like a good time. Email a memory you had of a cancer patient that ends up making the both of you smile. Oh my gosh, I remember that time it was your 30th birthday and we blah, 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 blah. That kind of thing. Uh, play an interactive game together on your phone, maybe Angry Birds or Words with Friends, something like that. That would be great. And then set a weekly time. You could do that too. A weekly time just to check in. Wow, that would really be powerful. Find a song on YouTube that you really like and share that with them. Nothing like sharing music with folks. Or you could even do something simple like send a picture or an emoji or a GIF or any of those fun kind of things. Just a little way to let them know you're there. I don't pretend to be an expert about how to connect with people through technology, but my guess is out there you guys have lots of ideas. Would love for you to put some of those down in the comments section of how you can end up using technology to connect with people through this difficult coronavirus time. But the important thing that I want you to remember is that it doesn't matter what you do. Just continue to do things to let the cancer patient know that you are there. There is no reason for anyone to be isolated during their cancer walk. So go ahead, share a cyber touch, have some fun, and make a world of difference. That's it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye now.